I just moved into a new room. Um, we are getting an exchange student um, in a few weeks. So I decided that I was going to give the exchange student my room and I would take the garage. So in this video I actually kind of want to talk a little bit about something serious. Um, so late last week I got asked a question on one of my videos if I could do um, a video on how to tell your parents that you have depression or some tips and everything. Since if you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, but I struggle with depression. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about how to tell your parents that you have struggles with depression or, or you feel like you need professional help um, or you feel like you just you can't deal with it alone. I was really, really lucky. I have really great parents that really knew and understood how to help me. Um, so I, I understand that not every home situation is like that. Um, some parents don't care. Some parents don't know how to help or what to do. Um, some parents make it angry. So I have some tips um, maybe to help you. Um, first of all, Take a deep, deep, deep breath. This is not an easy thing to talk about. Trust me, I know. Um, it's one of the hardest things to open up to someone, even someone like your parents. It was so hard for me to open up to them um, about it because I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to tell them how I was feeling. I'm just telling you right now, that is the first and most crucial step you have to take is confide in someone. If you're not comfortable talking to both parents, um, which that can be scary, having, you know, more, the more people, the scarier, I feel like, just ask one of your parents to talk. That's what I did. I um, mostly went to my mom, sit on her bed or wherever she was, sit near her. And sometimes I would just be, I would just sit there for 20, 25 minutes until I could find the words to speak. Sometimes even being near someone can make a difference. Fighting depression alone is impossible. It is 100, I, I'm sorry, it's, it's, in my opinion, with my experiences, for me it was impossible. I couldn't have done it alone. So another tip I have maybe to be, um, instead of speaking, you could write them a letter. I know when I was younger, um, I did actually end up writing a letter to my mom because I was so scared I couldn't find the words to actually speak to her. Because sometimes it can be really, really, really hard to talk about the situation. Um, so maybe either, you know, send them a letter or... Um, an email, even a text message could be helpful. So here's another tip that I have that may help you as well telling your parents. Um, bring a trusted close friend that knows about the situation. Um, now like I said before, sometimes more people can be worse, but sometimes if you have a really, really close friend or even like a counselor, that you have told before or anyone, bring a friend with you um, and that way you'll get emotional support. So I know that some people's parents um, do not take these kind of situations seriously. I understand that some people try to tell their parents and then their parents kind of just blow it off like it's no big deal. What I would do is I would go to them, if you're really serious about getting help and you're really serious about, you know, beating this depression, um, then I would, you know, talk to them and just, just express to them, hey, I'm feeling this way. Um, and if you feel comfortable enough, express some maybe thoughts that you're having or the way that you feel. And just tell them over and over that you feel like this is something that you cannot fight alone. You feel like you need, um, you need help. You need professional help. Um, so the lighting might have changed because I just went over to my brother's and we had dessert. So I had to stop filming for a little bit and my battery died. So... You know, if you feel like, okay, well, my parents aren't listening to me. My parents, they're not taking this seriously. I'm still feeling this way. They're not helping. They won't listen. I don't have a good relationship with them. Find another person, another adult maybe, 
whether it's a coach, whether it's a teacher, the school therapist, anything. Because I think the key factor um, to get through depression is to have support. And don't feel bad if you think if you need professional help. Don't feel bad if somebody tells you you need to get professional help. They're not telling you you're crazy. They're not telling you that they don't want to deal with you anymore. The overall message I just want you guys to know is that you need to tell a trusted adult that can support you and love you through this hard, hard, hard time. Because Without that, it is so, so much harder to deal with depression. It's almost impossible to deal with it without someone else's support. Know that it is okay to ask for help sometimes. Give yourself the best chance that you can possibly give because you get one life. That's it. One life to live. Why not help yourself out a, a little bit and ask for help? I really want each and every one of you to live a happy, healthy life, even if you have depression, if you have a hormonal imbalance like I do, you can still be happy, you can still be healthy. You just have to realize the steps you need to take to achieve that. It's impossible to do it by yourself and you deserve to be happy. You deserve to get to say to this depression, kick it in its freaking butt and just be like, I'm done because it's not worth it. You deserve to have a happy, healthy life and, t and do everything you can to fight it because you deserve a better life than what depression gives you. Guys, that's all I have for today. Um, if I did not answer your question, or if you have any more questions about this topic or anything else, you can always feel free to message me here on YouTube, comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram, which at which is at Beautifully Embraced 21. Um, I also have a Facebook page, which is Beautifully Embraced 21. So um, you can reach me on any of those social media sites, and um, I will do my best to try to answer you guys. Um, if you have any other topics you want me to talk about, I'll be glad to do that for you. Just let me know down in the comments below. If you like this, if it helped you out at all, please like it. And if you want to, you can always subscribe and become part of the family. Um, but I love all of you guys. And just remember that you deserve it. You deserve a good life. You deserve to be happy and healthy. And you can be happy and healthy. You just have to find the steps and the right way to achieve a happy, healthy life. So I hope that you guys are having an amazing week and an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm slipping into the lava and I'm trying to keep it going under. I don't think I've ever shown Mr. Kitty before. Here's Mr. Kitty. Snickers. Look at how cute she is. We're getting up close and personal. Bye.